Well, hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Life of Wonders. This is Polo, and I love making videos of dolls, always in Disney collectibles. And as always, if you like this kind of content and you feel like supporting the channel, then you already know what to do. I've missed you so much. It's been a really crazy, hectic uh, couple of weeks. Um, the beginning of September, I've started with the course, my job routine, uh, my studies as well, and then I was injured, so I had a, a surgical procedure to, uh, you know, scheduled, and it's been absolutely crazy. But I've missed you so much, and I can tell you that I have so much to share that is piling up. Um, that is going to be overwhelming. But I wanted to start with the Monster High X Wednesday Raven Wednesday Collector doll uh, because, yeah, I mean, I've, I've had her for quite some time and and I couldn't just wait any any longer to be sharing it with you, taking her out of the box and explore all her details up close. And for that, um, here we have Barbie as Wednesday in this particular scene um, that I had it um, customized. Um, and it's going to present us our new Monster High Raven Wednesday uh, with the resemblance of Jenna Ortega. So right over here we can see this is the barbie looks um deluxe mix and match exclusive from Mattel creations there we have thing by the way i will be reviewing the core uh wednesday and in it sinclair um pretty soon probably in about two days but i wanted to do it together um although i really needed to start with this one <laughs> um so here we have it the um Custom made dress is really cool by the way and it has the dimensions of a standard Barbie even though this one is a tall one um, But anyway, so gorgeous and I think she looks so amazing. It's like a Barbie version of Wednesday <laughs> And here we have the Monster High one. It comes in this super trans, you know, see-through uh, display window which I love because uh, for both collectors and people that might um, inbox collectors and people that might take it out, you can take it back again and then you can actually um, see every detail from all around but the back of course and then in the back we have um, this beautiful design with flowers and ravens and spider webs and everything and then right over here not in the center but you know going a bit down we can read monster high x wednesday raven wednesday um and she's i mean she appears to be dancing the famous um gaga <laughs> dance and right over here we have a promotional picture of her and a little bit of a bio or you know some thoughts um that um i'm going to be reading out loud for you the private thoughts of wednesday adams keep out of risk dismemberment <laughs> i wasn't going to attend a raven dance but think procured me a dress with his five finger discount and I couldn't squander a perfect chance to investigate. Black as my sense of humor, the gown has sheer layers that move like shadows. One could say I look like a ghostly apparition in the moonlight. And while I did enjoy dancing the 80s punk in my killer shoes, the highlight of the night was when chaos rained down and the, and the room was filled with screams. Well, if you've seen the series, um, you know what I'm talking about. It was just so iconic, and to this day, I think it's going to be one of the most iconic uh, Tim Burton ever um, produced scenes. So anyway, I will be taking the doll out of the box, and I'll come back to you in no time. All right, so here we have her out of the box, and I couldn't be more in love with her. Like, seriously, um, she's everything I was hoping for and beyond. And the both of them actually look so amazing side by side, by the way. Um, so let's start with the extra um, elements. So we have the stand that is a brand new stand for the Wednesday um, collection that has like a round base with this collect and, and spider web um, slash like um, stain window, I guess. Um, that is the one that we can find in the dorm. 
um, and I actually like it very much and I wish there were producing stands for G3 because um, it's a really nice element to have alongside with the door and then this one comes with a certificate of authenticity that is not just like a printed um, it's more of like a cardboard um, one and I believe this is the only one that comes with it because the core ones were more like um, towards playline uh, focused. So anyway, we have that. And then obviously I will give you just a very quick tour of this one over here. Um, something so funny is that I was actually um, anticipating the skin complexion being a lot paler and probably because I have this um, Barbie right here, she's not really, um, I mean, she's pale, She's very pale, but then she has like gray, um, almost like brown undertones, which are very similar to this like one of a kind um, thing. Um, and as you can see, it's almost like that, but this is supposed to be like dead or, you know, uh, yeah. Um, and you can see the difference here in uh, colors. So she has that tint um, that is given a bit of like gray, even though she's pale. And this is like the continuation of the dress. Uh, she came with tights and I use these um, lacy um, heels. And then for Wednesday, let's start with uh, uh, from the top because my goodness, I really love, um, I mean, I, I really, really love how they've executed the double braid um, moment right there. Um, you know, as part of the hairstyle and then the fringe that is parted in the middle and, you know, with two tendrils of her. And this is how it looks from the back. So, of course, they had to, like, put it together because I believe she has longer hair, quite possibly longer than the one that comes with braids uh, because of how, you know, long it has to be for this hairstyle to be done. Um, and if I were lucky to get a second one, maybe I would just, you know, play along with it. Um, but anyway, I think it's really nicely done. I don't think it's um, that bad looking at all. Um, quite the opposite. I think it's just like perfect. And then when it comes to the screening perfection, uh, for this Wednesday, we have a bit more of a smoky eye. And then we can see two skulls and little stars as a reflection on her eyes and freckles and then the resemblance to Jenna Ortega is just like very present and I love the full lip with the black color and then I fret that these earrings are um, reused for G1 um, which is a bit unfortunate but I think it goes um, I mean the design goes really well with the design of the occasion and so we can see an S collect with the cross bonds um, right there framed in dangling um, earrings and then as we move down um, there's obviously all the points of articulation of a G1 but with the reproductions it feels like you cannot have like that super close movement of the arms they always like stay like so which is a bit yeah not great um, anyway she has painted uh, nails in black and then the dress is just one single layer well it's one single piece um, rather and then it has I thought I mean from uh, things that I heard before and everything that this would be um, would feel like heaven in terms of how soft and you know um, satin like or something like that in reality it doesn't like I don't know I mean I remember I saw a couple of um, a couple of uh, reviews earlier on from the influencers and they were like oh this is like so magnificent like the it's a bit plasticky I mean I, I was actually <laughs> I was actually hoping it to be more silky or like chiffon organs you know that kind of um, organza that flows amazingly um, not the case I mean it's not rough of course it's it's a soft material but it doesn't flow it's a bit static 
if that makes sense. Um, I just wanted to be extra clear for you because I don't think that was fair. It was, in fact, I was just having like another idea on my mind. And something very interesting is that it's very translucent, as you can see, and the black effect is supported by the undergarment that is actually a full bodysuit that we're going to just... Uh, have a look at in a moment otherwise if you were to take the bodysuit underneath you can see that she will appear to be naked so there's not like the amount of layers that i believe in the tv series not only this was like super fluffy but also i feel like they were like wrapped around layers that were open for the scene when where she's like running and everything it was it had a lot of movement whereas like for the final doll it's more of like a bell shaped with three extra layers of ruffles ears and that's it i mean it looks great uh but i don't think with this diameter she could actually um dance the um the same way as in the um, in the series that is just something that I needed to say as well and then as an accessory she comes with this belt with a W and is painted with silver accents and it velcros uh, well it snaps there and then the dress velcros on the back and then underneath this is what I wanted to show you here we have the bodysuit that is made out of like an elastic polyester material and it goes all the way up to her chest um, and so it's it's a really nice versatile piece, but then again, you wouldn't be able to display these without something as dark underneath, otherwise it's gonna look, um, yeah, super weird. Um, and then she's coming with this Mary Jane style uh, pumps, and then the heels are themed after the theme of the dance, which was again, um, you know, a winter yeti sort of like uh, bow. And so we have an icicle and we have a yeti right there, which I think is gorgeous and very simple but works perfectly. And other than that, I mean, I wish the dress had a bit more flair and a bit more volume towards the bottom. Um, yeah, I would have appreciated that. The, the base sole is magnificent. I think it's going to be my favorite, to, to be honest. Um, but the dress, I was expecting um, a little bit more, maybe. And for the given price, you know, um, having something that would definitely flow like shadows, which in reality does not flow like shadows per se. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. And I am very happy with uh, the doll, and I'm very happy that I'm back reviewing things, and yet this is going to be non-stop. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it, um, and it's been helpful to all of you considering getting her to your own collection. And if that is the case, don't forget to give me a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, I will be more than happy to get back to all of you. For now, stay safe, and I'll 